Driving a power wheelchair with sip and puff controls requires four separate breath commands to drive the chair in four different directions. A hard puff is forward, a hard sip is reverse, a soft sip is to the left, and a soft puff turns the chair right. Sip and puff driving does not require lung capacity, it uses intraoral pressure. That's why some ventilator dependent individuals are very successful sip and puff drivers. When programming a chair to operate with sip and puff controls, it's important to calibrate the system to match the user's abilities. This will optimize their chance for success and make the system easier to operate. When calibrating sip and puff, the goal is to separate the hard and the soft values far enough to make an easy distinction between the commands, but not make the hard values so hard that the user has trouble achieving them at the end of the day when they're tired or fatigued. To calibrate sip and puff, plug the programmer into the chair, turn the chair on, then turn the programmer on. Scroll down to the Calibrations menu and press Select. Now scroll down to Hard Puff Calibrate and press Select again. In a hard calibration mode, the up and down arrows of the programmer move the H value on the scale of the display. It's this H value that the user has to hit when he puffs hard. Now ask the user to puff hard into the sip and puff straw and see how far the bars on the display light up to the right. Use the up or down arrows of the handheld programmer to move the H value close to where the user was able to reach. Ask the user to puff hard again to check for consistency in reaching the set level. Once the user is consistent reaching the value calibrated, use the menu key to back up on the programmer, scroll down to Soft Puff Calibrate and press Select. Now the up and down arrow keys will move the S or Soft value on the screen. Ask the user to puff softly into the straw to reach the S value, but not so hard that it reaches the H value. Remember, to set the values for hard and soft puffs far enough apart so that the user is able to make an easy distinction between the commands. When you're finished calibrating soft puff, use the menu key to back up on the programmer, scroll down to the next setting or soft sip calibration, repeat the process, then scroll down to the hard sip calibration, repeat the process once again. When you're finished, remember to press save, then press save again. Now pat yourself on the back. You've done it. Here's some additional tips for successful sit and puff driving. First, teach the user to use their mouth muscles, not lung capacity, to create the pneumatic pressures. Use examples like sucking on a thick milkshake or giving a small kiss rather than blowing out a birthday candle. Next, be very careful and pay attention to how you're setting up the system and mounting the components onto the power chair. Try to eliminate as much excess tubing as you can. The less volume of air the user has to move, the greater their chances for success. Next, when setting up the system, be sure to eliminate all leaks in the system, especially where the straw connects to the breath tube kit. Mark 6 Electronics. Easy to set up, easy to use. Everything else is a compromise.